What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. It is finally here. In my previous vlog, my medical school OSCE exam got postponed to some indetermined time in the future. That day is tomorrow. Let me show you. This is what we have been up to for the last couple of weeks and then tomorrow is OSCE day. This is the final med school OSCE, like the biggest, most notorious, hard, bad, scary, anxiety inducing exam is tomorrow. And when I tell you that I have lost the will to live and I've lost the will to study for this exam, like I am, ugh, I'm so done. I'm over it. I'm over it. You're done, kid. You're done. So yeah, honestly, these last couple of days have just been brutal, boring studying and I'm very, very over it. Which is why today I actually don't plan on doing that much studying at all. I've got a list of a couple of things that I still need to go over. And then after finishing going through this list, I just want to practice sort of the main big four exams, abdominal exam, cardiovascular, respiratory, and then cranial nerves and upper and lower limb motor and sensory exams, because those are very, very likely to come up. And I feel like if I just went through them one more time, I'll be in the best position I can be to do well in them. And that's pretty much it. After that, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to play video games with my sister. I'm going to rest and relax because I'm over it. I just want this to be finished and I need to chill out. <sighs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna think, we're just gonna do. Because if we stop and think about having to study for this exam for another day, it's not gonna be fun, all right? So we're literally not gonna think and we're just gonna get started with the day. I have got some lovely strawberries. I'm about to go get some coffee and let's do this. All right, let's do this. Phone on silent, all right. I'm throwing this on my bed. And again, similar to last time when I was preparing for Oskis in my fourth year, which if you haven't seen that vlog, I personally really like it. You can check it out somewhere up over here. Um, I'm using this book kind of as my like North Star. It is totally falling apart now that I want to show you. It's not, but basically all the pages are like loose and like different parts are falling out. I've made good, good use of this book. So the first thing on my list that I want to learn about is advanced directives, decisions you can make in advance about your treatment in the case that you were to lose capacity in the future and not be able to make those types of decisions for yourself. So I'm going to read up on that and then move on. It's uh, Mother's Day today in the Arab world, so we sent my mom some flowers and a card and she just received them and uh, we we're just saying a quick happy Mother's Day. Anyways, back to work. Alright, so it's been about an hour of studying and everything on this first little sticky note is finished, which is great news because you can get rid of that and throw it away. And now I've got a second sticky note mostly containing things that I didn't even know were going to show up on our exam until my good friend Georgina kindly informed me about them yesterday. So that's what we're going to go through right now. So one of these things is a C-spine x-ray or interpretation of a C-spine x-ray. So I'm just going to watch a random YouTube video on that. Now, if you're wondering what this thing is here on the, <laughs> the side screen on my iPad over here, this is a video game that I have running in the background doing something very menial or not very click intensive basically so i can stay sane and make my time spent at this desk studying a little bit more enjoyable it's kind of like my motivation to sit here and study is every 10 minutes or so i click about a little bit here play a tiny bit of this game and it's kind of what's getting me through this uh, this last day so that's what that is anyways without further ado let's watch this video and take some notes Genuinely, I cannot stress this enough. If there's something you don't understand or something you're learning for the first time, I genuinely find YouTube videos are the best way to do it. These are people who have already learned the thing you're trying to learn and are now trying to explain it in an easy to understand way with all kinds of nice memory hooks, images, diagrams, etc. This is often so much easier than your lecture, which is like a 50 minute lecture. I'm sure there are many 50 minute lectures covering cervical spine x-rays, but you know, they'll go into lots of detail. They'll show a lot of uh, research and the history of coming to where we are now. I just want to know how to interpret spinal x-ray, uh, C-spine x-ray. So <laughs> this is, this is what I need. All right. So I'm going to present this like it's in my exam. Today, I'm looking at a C spine x-ray for a patient John Smith, a 55 year old man uh, who's come into the hospital. 
All right, so history taking and communication stations are only two parts of the OSCE exam. We also have things like examinations, procedural skills, and assessment stations. So all those involve doing practical things with our hands, talking to patients and examining them using things like a nice little stethoscope and a tendon hammer. Also, please just ignore whatever the hell is going on here. My exam's tomorrow. <laughs> I don't have time to clean my room right now. So if you remember from some of my previous vlogs, we had Sonic the Hedgehog, this big fluffy toy that I could examine. And it was actually really helpful, but kind of threw him in the bin. So <laughs> he's gone. But instead, what we do have is Mr. Chair. Is that gonna stay? Nope. All right, let's get some tape. Found it. All right, Mr. Chair, you're gonna have to stay put, bud. So, Mr. Chair is a 24-year-old gentleman who was presented to the emergency department with acute shortness of breath. So I'm going to examine him, put a mark scheme up on the screen, and hopefully not miss anything, and practice my examination skills, so. Now what's funny, guys, is when we first started preparing for OSCEs back in second year, actually, you might know this already if you used to watch my videos back then, I used to complain a lot about how the six minute timer that we have in order to complete these examinations is super short and how could we possibly do everything we need to do in the six minutes that they give us. And now when we practice these exams as final year medical students, we get through them with like a minute to spare, sometimes even a minute and a half, depending on the examination, which is absolutely crazy to think about, but I guess it's a testament to just show like practice makes perfect, keep working on something, you'll get better at it, etc., etc. Anyways, I'm procrastinating from doing this examination. So let's just get started. Hi, good morning, my name is Nasser and I'm one of the final year doctors here in the emergency department. Could I start by confirming your name and your age, please? Yes, hello, my name is Mr. Chair and I'm 24 years old. Nice to meet you, Mr. Chair. Today, what I've been asked to do is perform an examination of your lungs. This is gonna involve me having a look, a listen and feel of your hands, your face and your chest area. Would that be okay? Yes, that would be fine, you can begin. All right, thank you very much. I'm just gonna mention a couple of things to my examiner uh, as we go along, if that's okay. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. That brings us to the end of the examination. Um, you can put on your t-shirt now. Thank you very much for your time. Great. So we've got a minute and a half left on the timer. Um, assuming I didn't miss anything big, which is always possible. Let's go through the mark scheme and have a look. All right, so introduction, patient details, washes hands, explains the exam. Ah, cervical lymph adenopathy. So you have to check for the lymph nodes from the back of the patient. You can feel for the supraclavicular nodes um, and then come up to the cervical chain, submandibular, preauricular, or sorry, postauricular and preauricular as well. Don't forget to check the lymph nodes. Oh, vocal fremitus, 99, 99, 99. So when you listen to the patient's chest in all the different areas, you're supposed to listen again and ask them to say 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. And this is a test called vocal fremitus. And if you have a consolidation or a mass in the chest, then you'll the sound will transmit better. And so you'll hear the 99 louder over the areas that do have consolidation versus the ones that do not. So that's what that test is for. All right. so. I remembered pretty much everything. I just didn't remember to do vocal fremitus 9999 and to check the lymph nodes. In my humble opinion, this would be an easy pass of the station. And then also, of course, you have to summarize your findings, report back to your senior, et cetera, et cetera. But in terms of missing those two things, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. So basically, what the deal is, is that with every examination I do, I am bound to forget a couple of things, which is fine, it's okay. But I want to minimize the number of things that I am forgetting, and so that's what this practice is for. But big picture, forgetting a couple of things in the exam is okay. It's not gonna be the end of the world, certainly not gonna fail you. I want to forget as few things as possible. Many hours later. All right, guys, it is several hours later. We're about to hit 1 p.m. I just wrote down from memory, all of the sort of major steps and special tests that are involved for all the musculoskeletal exams, hip, knee, shoulder, ankle, hands, and then also peripheral arterial and peripheral venous disease exams. And I feel ready. I feel good. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do much else study-wise for the rest of the day. I'm gonna ask Kenji and Georgina if either of them are down to practice a couple of histories just to kind of practice it one more time the day before. But other than that, I think I'm done. It is an absolutely beautiful sunny day today. Um, so I would like to get to enjoy that at least a little bit. 
I'm going to go to the gym and also probably play some video games with my sister in the evening. And yeah, just kind of unwind, relax and calm down before exam time hits. So I'm gonna go grab some food, get some lunch and yeah, we'll just continue on with the day try and unwind and relax and tomorrow is tomorrow. Now obviously before the exam we need to be looking our best so that means a clean shave and then some nice formal clothes and a shirt so yeah I need to get rid of all this fluff trim up these lines a little bit and let's just do it. Now it did just hit me that I'm actually gonna be wearing a mask the entire time throughout the exam. <laughs> So I guess we'll make that much of a difference, but if you look good, then you feel good and it helps with the overall confidence and everything. So I think it's still worth it. The fact that that camera hasn't fallen is a bit of a miracle. All right, and just like that, we are done. Let's go get some food. All right, so got ourselves some lunch and we're gonna be watching the new episodes of Top Boy, which have just been, as you all know, this is my favorite eating utensil by miles makes everything much more comfy even though it makes me look like a grandpa but it is what it is all right let's kick back relax and enjoy the show spoilers by the way major spoilers for the show <laughs> hey man how's it going bro good bro how are you good man good Bro, you're not scared of hitting your laptop off the fucking table? Nah, no, nah, it's safe. <laughs> or will it fall in your bed? If it, if there's, it. there's some good clearance, like, at the back. Hi, good afternoon, my name is Nas Karma, I'm one of the doctors here. Could I start by confirming Hi. your name and your age, please? Uh, yeah, it's Paul Marston and I'm 65. Alright, on my way to the gym. Look at this beautiful weather we've been having here for the last week. Fortunately, I've mostly been cooped up at home, studying and preparing for this exam, but cannot wait to take advantage of this once exams are over. Going on another ski trip, but after that. Anyways, let's get in this one last session of de-stress, exercise, sweat coming out, and just resting and relaxing my head, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace. guys this is it i'm just waiting outside the location which is pretty damn beautiful if i can say so myself got myself a quick coffee and my general plan is to go in at the last possible second so i can sit out here and listen to my music and de-stress as much as i can so that's what i'm gonna do for five minutes and then head inside for the exam and then quarantine period and they're gonna take our electronics so i won't be able to film much but I'll catch up afterwards i'll see you later oh my god oh my god oh my God. Okay, so that's day one finished. So yeah, not gonna lie, that was a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. It was not as straightforward as previous OSCEs that we had. And in fact, I think they deliberately tried to trick us going into a respiratory exam station, which then turned out to be an A to E station. So yeah. And then there were other stations where the wording was very unclear and a lot of students complained about like, misunderstanding like what they wanted us to examine or what they wanted us to do so and they came in and took feedback from all of us about how they can change the wording moving forward so could have done a better job but it's all right wasn't feeling too great about two out of the six stations that we had today and then there's another six stations tomorrow um, but once I got the written feedback from the examiners I think it kind of put me at ease um, the comments there were a lot better than I thought I had done in the examination so should be okay anyways I mean that's basically it exam one down one more to go tomorrow so we show up at eight in the morning then we have to quarantine until 11 a.m and then we write the exam and then we have to quarantine again until 1 p.m so that other students on other campuses around london are not out of the quarantine whilst we're out of the quarantine we can share information or whatever so a lot of waiting around but i think it's fine i think it's fine that's the end of my ramble about this exam i'm heading home i think i'm gonna do just a bit of practicing on prescribing because that didn't come up today maybe review one exam or something but other than that gonna sit down and play video games in Newark because that was very fun yesterday. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys at home. Peace. Hello team. I'm at home, chilling on the couch, 
just unwinding, debriefing, and chilling, relaxing for a little bit. I'm going to hop on a call with Kenji and Georgina just to debrief about the stations that we did today in the exam, um, talk about them a little bit, and get what we need to say off of our chest, and then probably do a bit of prescribing practice. And I think I'm going to call it there. I'll pick up the camera again when I start that debrief call, do a little bit of stuff. But man, it's actually, it's hitting me that this is almost over. Like med school is almost over. Final exam. Madness, madness, madness. All right, see you in a bit. All right, Paige, you can go onto the uh, media. Uh, book is page 32. 32. PDF page 32 or book page 32? Uh, book 32. All right, that's it guys. Like I said before, any more studying would have made absolutely no difference today. And I think any more studying is gonna make absolutely no difference tomorrow. So I'm just gonna call it here, it's 5 p.m. I'm gonna chill, relax, pack my bags so I'm ready to fly out Thursday early in the morning and so I can go out celebrate tomorrow um, in the evening with everybody and not have to pack. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for the day. So almost there. See you guys in a bit. Peace. All right. So I'm going skiing tomorrow, well, after tomorrow, with about 10 of my friends from high school to celebrate finishing medical school, hopefully finishing medical school, given that everything goes well tomorrow. Touch wood, and yeah, let's pack. Cue the time lapse. All right, so all packed. Everything is pretty much there. I just need to put in a couple last things tomorrow. And now me and Nora can sit down and play Elden Ring for a couple of hours, relax, enjoy the night. And that is it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to Oski day number two. I'm heading to a different location today. I'm on the train um, for the second part of those games. They're spreading us out. Let me wait for this train to pass. So they're spreading us out across all the different locations of King's College London so that it's as fair as possible and we each we all see different examiners and we are with different groups and things like that. So that is just a fair exam across the board. New video getting released tomorrow. So prepping that <laughs> Instagram card right now. And yeah, just trying to take it easy and chill, relax as much as I can before I go into the exam. A little bit early, so I'll have some time to kill, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks. Is this vlog filming? Woo! So we are back on campus, guys. Campus. Yeah. To be honest, I think today didn't go as well as yesterday. I think there are a couple, two stations where I found them quite challenging, and I don't think I got the intended diagnosis in the end. Um, but hopefully, my communication skills and everything else, the questioning, history taking, whatever, will make up for it. But anyways, I'm not gonna think about that. I've just had a meal with Aaron and Georgina. I'll put some pictures up over here. And now I'm going to Guy's Bar, which is just over there, to meet a couple other friends, have a couple of drinks, relax, debrief, and fucking soak this in. Woo! Alright, so it's actually been about a week since the last clip that you guys saw. I forgot to close off the vlog and I've only just realized that I haven't done that yet. During this time, I've actually gone skiing in Austria and then I've come back and I started surgery this morning. I had to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. It's all been very hectic, but that's a vlog for another day. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. What is up, guys? <laughs>